What first? What drew you to the material? You were the first one in, I understand. And how um, were you hesitant? Maybe about the first Sissy one? was right, pretty close. Oh, there, yeah. Okay. But you were first. Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, I just thought it was a very unique script, and uh, I always was interested. But then, not that I lost interest, but everything became on hold. Went 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 on hold because they couldn't raise the money, and then they had to go through rewrites. They brought finally brought another guy on. The first guy wrote. Lovely script, but then they brought another guy from Alabama on that added those final touches that it really needed. Yeah, but it, 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 it interested me the character. Okay, it's principally the character. Were you hesitant, either one of you, about working with a first time director? First, pr first time I'm producers. hesitant working with a 50 time director. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah some of those guys. Well, he'd won, Aaron Schneider won an Academy Award for Two Soldiers for a short film he did. And it was very good, so that kind of eased my mind yeah. a bit. It's okay. I mean, you know, if it's, the project's good, you, you, you'll you weather anything. The storm, if that's going to become that, you know, it's not necessarily... And he stuck by that. Yeah, yeah. He worked for years and years and years trying to get it going and believing yeah. in it. So he exactly. had real staying power. He yeah. proved himself. Okay. Can you talk about, you know, obviously... The story is you throw a party, you throw your own funeral before you've passed on. Um, how would you like to go? Have you ever thought about that? How, how would you want to go? Spread my ashes mm -hmm. for me. That's it for me. Any particular place? Virginia, maybe, where, where we live. Mm -hmm. <coughs> maybe a few other places, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you, who the few friends you have, you love, will come and it'll become a memory and then the memory will become will diminish through the years and uh, make it a simple thing, I guess. That's it. And do you say something? I, was, you know. I go for the ashes thing, too. Okay, go yeah. for the ashes. Yeah. I would like for my friends and family to have a party and a celebration. Yeah, whatever they want to do. But I don't do. want to be there. Right. Whatever they want to do. Whatever they want to do, yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, it's, it seems all about closure. He has to get this thing off his chest, it seems. Um, is that as important to you guys in your What's life? That? Well, he's got this thing he's got to confess. Uh, well, he wants to, you know, talk to the audience and confess. I don't want to give yeah, well, that's a pretty day. big confession, a pretty big thing he has to unload to get off his chest, right. yeah. Right. Um, is closure as important in your own lives as it is for this character? It is in mine. I want to. I want to try, and I've always wanted to try to live my life and keep everything up to date, so that I can, you know, live with no regrets. I think that's more than it being a, really about a man who wants to have a funeral party and wants to be there. He he has something that he's got to get off his chest. You know, yeah. his whole life is about this event, this thing in his life that he. Needs he doesn't want to take it with him to his grave, right. and he, he tricks everybody I think into thinking they're coming to a funeral party. So he will have a a, a soapbox, yeah, an so opportunity. It, but to also the, to come to tell their story, but it ends up that he's the one telling to tell yeah. his story. Sure, sure. You know, and after that he's he's out of there. Right. Once he tells it, then you're free. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. They're giving me the high sign. So.